Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Miss Mortimer here with your weekly instalment of the band warm up. Remember that we're doing these videos to practice your ensemble skills and that's things like um, being able to play in time with other parts, being able to play in tune with other parts and to have a general awareness of the music that's going on around you as well as being able to play your own part really well. And all of that just means that when we're all playing back together as a big group, we'll sound even better than we did before. So we're going to start off with your scale this morning. So find your starting note on the chart and we're going to play each note twice. We're going to play two minims on each note. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And when you're playing, just concentrate on making a really nice sound, tonguing each note really neatly and making sure that you're playing all the way to the end of the second beat. One, two, three, four. our internal pulse so keeping count of the beats while we're not playing by playing one rest 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 one rest 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 so it'll go think 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 one two three four Okay, time for some echoes now. So I'm going to play a tune using the first three notes of the scale and I'd like you guys to figure out what the notes are and play it back. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, well done. Now the same idea, but using notes four, five, and six of the scale. So take a minute to have a look and find what your notes are. One, two, three, four. Good, well done again. Now we're going to move up one more step and we're going to use notes five, six and seven. One, two, three, four. Thank you. 
good, well done. That's probably really warmed up your ears and your listening skills. So now we are going to go through our um, 12 bar blues, well it becomes 16 bars with the echoes, and when we're on chord one, I'm going to use notes one, two and three. When we're on chord four, I'm going to use notes four, five and six. And when we're on chord five, we're going to use notes five, six and seven. So listen to what I play and try and copy it back. One, two, three, four. Why don't you now go and have a go at one of our pieces? So you might want to listen to the backing track, get an idea of how all the parts sound together. Then you could practice your part individually for a little bit and then try playing along in time with the backing track. Enjoy and see you next week. <laughs>